In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to trim the start and end of a video on a Chromebook. This video is not about how to fully edit a complex video with multiple different clips and effects and everything like that. If that's what you want to do, there are a lot of other videos out there that show you how to do that on a Chromebook. But if you just have a simple video and you just want to cut the start off it and maybe the end, so that you're just left with the actual content of the video and you don't have the part where you're pressing record or lining it up or waiting for something to happen or anything like that, this is the video for you. There is actually a very simple way that you can do this on your Chromebook with no additional apps or skills required and no need to add the video to a timeline in an advanced editing app or anything like that. All you need to do is find the video you want to trim in the Files app. So the video could be in any folder you like, but Timmy's just got it in the My Files folder here. But before you open the video and start trimming it, it's worth keeping in mind that when you save the trimmed video, it will replace the original video and you, no, you will no longer have access to the original video. So that's probably fine because you probably only want to keep the trimmed video anyway. But if you want to keep the original video and have a copy that's trimmed version, so you have the original and the edited version, you'll need to make a copy of the video file first and then you can edit the copy and keep the original one just as it is. The easiest way to do that is to click on the file to select it like that and then on your Chromebook's keyboard Press the keyboard shortcut Control C to copy it and then Control V to paste the copied video in the same folder. So now we have two copies of the same video in this folder. So you can do that if you want to or if you're happy to just directly edit the original, that's fine as well. But now once you've done that, if you wanted to do that, you're ready to start trimming your video. So to do that, You'll double click on the video to open it up. And now it'll open up the video and you'll be able to watch it. So you could click the play button here and you'll see your video. You don't have to do this, but if you wanted to watch your video, you could. So in this instance, we want to cut off the part where Timmy's hand is in the way and the part where Timmy's lining up the camera so that the video will only start as soon as Timmy starts actually opening this little case. So the video will start about here. So we want to cut off a lot of the stuff at the start and start it somewhere there. And we also want to cut off the end where Timmy drops the camera. So it doesn't matter what you want to cut off, but that's just what we're going to be doing. But whatever video you have and whatever you want to trim off it, to start trimming your video, you need to come up and click the Edit in Photos button in the top right hand corner here. And depending on what video you have, if it's the wrong video file type, this button might not appear. So if we close this one and open this video, this video is a .webm instead of a .mp4. And we can watch it just fine. But as you can see up here, there is no edit in photos button. So when you do a screen recording on a Chromebook, it'll save that screen recording as a .webm video and that doesn't work with this method. And also you might have a different video that's a different file type that also doesn't bring up this button and doesn't allow you to edit it. So if you have a video like that, you'll just need to go into Google Chrome and go to a free file conversion website Timmy likes to use cloudconvert.com and there'll be a link to it in the video description. So you come in here and you choose what file type you want to convert. So in this case, we have a WebM video. So we'll choose that. And we want to convert it to an MP4 because that is usually the best video file format to use. And it works with this feature. The button appears when you open a MP4 file. So then you would select your WebM video or whatever type of video you have. And then it'll convert 
and download as an MP4 file. And then you'll be able to open up that MP4 file and you'll be able to click the edit in photos button. But whether or not you needed to do that, once you're ready and you've got your MP4 video with this edit in photos button, all you need to do is go ahead and click this button. And now it will open your video up in the Google Photos app. And the Google Photos app will usually come pre-installed on your Chromebook. So there's nothing you need to install. It'll just open straight up in the app. And this can take a second for a long or high resolution video because it has to process it all and pull it up, but that's fine. And you'll probably want to click this rectangle in the top right hand corner just to make it bigger so you can see what you're doing more easily. And now you're ready to trim your video. So to do that, you'll see down here we have this timeline bar and that represents the entirety of your video so over here is the start of it, and over here is the end of it. And these little short white lines on either end of the timeline are where the video will start and stop. So if we want to start the video somewhere in here, we just need to drag this starting line into here somewhere. So we will click and drag it and when you hold your mouse like this, it will actually zoom in on the timeline a bit so you can be more precise, which is good. So we maybe want it somewhere like that, or maybe a little bit further, we might drag it a bit more. And that probably seems pretty good. So we can now click the play button and see where it's going to start. So yeah, that's good enough for this example. If you were really editing a video, you might want to go a little bit more precise than that, but that's pretty good. And when you watch the preview in here, it might look a bit choppy because it's quite hard for a computer to play a video in an editing app like this. So it'll look a bit choppy while you're previewing it, but don't worry, once you save it, it'll be back to normal and it'll play perfectly smoothly. But now, if you want to cut the end off, you can do that as well. So we'll just click and drag this white line at the end and we'll drag it back to probably here, a bit further after the case is closed, maybe something like that. So if we go here and we watch the end of it, oh, that was too far. So we'll drag that a little bit in there to about there. So now the video will end there. So it starts here and it ends here. And you could keep fiddling around with this as much as you want to get it just right. And there's also some other edits you could make. You could rotate it and crop it and do a little bit of coloring to it over on this panel. But you don't really need to do any of that. If you've just wanting to trim your video, you've now done that. So now, we're ready to save the video. So all you have to do is come up here and click this save button here and it will pop up with this message warning you that it's going to replace the original video. So if you did not create a copy and you are just editing the one and only copy you have, when you click replace, it will save the changes and you'll no longer have access to the original. But if you created a copy like Timmy did, you're just going to be replacing the copy with this new edited video. So you'll still have the original video that is not the copy. So just keep that in mind before you click replace. But the only way you can actually save your changes here is to click replace. So you just need to do that either way. And now it will begin saving your video. And if you have quite a long or high resolution video, this can take quite a long time because your Chromebook has to process the entire video to resave it in this trimmed version. But because this video is fairly short, it's already finished. And as you can see, it started playing. And we didn't have any of the starting. Let's cut all of that out and jump straight to the content. And it ends there and it's gone back to the start because it's playing on a loop. But 
we now have our trimmed video. So you can just come up to the top here and click close to close the Google Photos app. And now, because we edited this version and we left this copy here, if we open up this copy, we'll see this is the trimmed video. So if we play that there, it starts there. And if we open up the other one, we'll see it's still the original video. So it starts way back here. So if you did make a copy, you'll now have an edited and an unedited version. Or if you didn't make a copy, your one video file will now just be trimmed. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully you found this video helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.